Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how you will have to press the gas pedal. Don't be afraid to press the gas pedal. Man, this is something I feel like we all have to deal with on the physical level, meaning with cars on the road, and then we also have to deal with in the spiritual realm, which is us not taking initiative or using our spiritual being to its full capacity. And I want to start off just with the car examples because all of us are on the road these days, depending on what city you in. Uh, when I was in New York, I wasn't driving as much as public transportation we use in our two feet. But when you correlate this statement with real life and outside of the cities where you are mainly using public transportation, you will notice how a lot of drivers are afraid to press the gas pedal. This isn't the 1600s, 1500s, 1950, 1940, 1930, 1867. This isn't those times anymore. They don't make cars that only go 40 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, 75 miles per hour max. We now have vehicles where most of them are pushing at least 150 miles per hour minimum minimum and most people want fast cars which doesn't correlate with the actual speed limit so when you take this equation and, and then you are able to replace it and replicate it in real lifetime you will see that a lot of beings have these bodies these vessels and we are not using them to our full capacity we are not using every feature that comes equipped with our vessel. What I mean by that is you may have a Ford pickup truck F-150 on the on the road. You know what I mean? Pickup truck, they're pretty big. Big engines. They got a lot of power to them. They can pull a lot. Now imagine having something that big and that useful and you never used it for its full potential. You would really be just wasting and putting off to the side a lot of, you know, the attributes, a lot of qualities that make that truck what it is. When you're riding on these highways and you're riding on these regular roads, what I call it when I'm on the regular roads, I just say I like to drive my speed limit. I know the system got their speed limit set in place in their eyes they feel as though they're keeping other people safe which I don't believe the system has any of our safety concerns to the forefront these are just structural things set in place to keep us all in line so when you're on the road driving you got to process that like you're in indoctrination school and all the teachers tell you hey everybody up against the wall walk in a straight line quiet when you're walking through the hallways it's the same thing on the road, except you have more choice, more capability, and more abilities. You will get stuck on these roads, and I'm going to correlate it back. You will get stuck on these roads where you have a bunch of beings who are extremely complacent, and they do exactly what the system says, even when the system isn't around. And with me saying that, it just... Mm, hit me with an uppercut, right? Because that's how I walk my life every single day. I do things for the creator, for God, that they don't, no one has to be here to see me do these things. Because I know that I'm doing them. So when you take this example from being on the road with cars and having to press the gas, right? Because you got a lot of robot zombies out here who, oh, oh, you're driving too fast, you're driving too... It's only too fast to people who are using the system's speed limit as a a, a marker, as a, 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 a beginning point. You cannot say I'm going too fast if there is no starting point. When you start looking at excessive speeds, it's usually if somebody's in a... 15, 25 mile per hour place 
and they are going at least a hundred miles an hour. I'm gonna let this helicopter pass right over top of me. I don't know how I found Helicopters are new. We usually only have airplanes. Helicopters is new. Anyways, understanding that these beings are so complacent and so zombified and robotic that in their eyes, they would much rather obey the system and the structure opposed from utilizing the attributes and the abilities of the car that they have. Now, I'm not saying that you're supposed to be flying around speed demon everywhere. You're supposed to drive safe and you should drive at reasonable speeds, right? So that way you're not endangering yourself or endangering other people. But in today's society, we, we all have been driving cars long enough now that we, we kind of know the ratio between, okay, if I'm in a 45 zone, I probably can push it to like 60, 70 if I want to, if there's no lights and no cars, or if there's no police in the way. I, me personally, I don't really care if there's other cars in the way because I don't see them as police. In my spirit world, I'm going from point A to point B. In my spirit world, if I could utilize the grass or this other lane that's just for bumpity bumps, if you have an accident, I would use those lanes, but they force you to either work on your patience in this traffic or it forces you to figure out different ways to maneuver around when you take these examples of having these modern day vehicles Benz, BMW, Audis, Teslas Beam, uh, Benzes like when you take a lot Land Rovers, Range Rovers when you take all of these vehicles and you actually process how much people are spending on these vehicles and then how much usage are they actually getting out of these vehicles it never weighs up when I look at a lot of people out here in real lifetime because I engage with a lot of people in real lifetime I always see them in the inside I'm like oh shit this looks like it could be you know uh, 2024 Honda, you know, but it's being operated in this realm as if it's like a 1989 Honda, you know what I mean? And you don't get, you don't get the full value out of not utilizing it. It's like wasting, it's like buying a big old mansion house, but then you don't even live there or stay there. You just got it because you said you wanted it or you could just you had the money to finance it or to buy it however it works a lot of people don't want to see color but color is real you can look out here and see it is so once we start getting to this understanding we should already know all right i know i'm not this actual vessel my spirit doesn't have a color but when i'm in my car all the traffic see me on the road as being in my blue car. So I have to understand that all the people out here see me in this room as being in this brown vehicle right here. I understand the attributes that come with being in this brown vehicle. I understand the, the things that I'm able and capable to do in this brown vehicle. I understand the attributes that come with this brown vehicle. I would never pull up to all right, back to the cars. Now, if I'm in a blue Honda, let's say I pulled up to a red limousine. I wouldn't expect this red limousine to have the same attributes as me or to be able to take turns the same way I can to do certain things. I know that this limousine come with its own attributes. This limousine could fit more people in there. It probably has more luxury items for you to actually lounge around in the backseat. It comes equipped with different things. That's no different than us. But a lot of people refuse to see this and to actually imply it in real lifetime. I don't believe in racism. I just call it ignorance. 
But what happens is if I got with somebody of a different nationality, right? Which I have, but I'm just speaking of examples, right? I would expect them to understand the attributes and abilities that they come with. So just for Western example, when brown male or brown female gets with the opposite, which in our society is going to be Caucasian, you know, either or male, female, however you flip flop it, whatever flows for you. You have to understand that, okay, this brown male comes with these attributes and these are the things he's able to do while being in this vessel. And then these are some of the things that are kind of not beneficial to the brown vessel or to the blue Honda. But then you look at the limousine, the red limousine, or you look at the Caucasian and then you also say, all right, well, this one comes with this and equipped with this. When you put the limo and the Honda together, the Honda can go a few more places and have access to a few more parking spaces due to the size of the car opposed from the limo. Neither one of the vehicles is bad. They just understanding, okay, how can we come together and make something happen in a much more productive, positive way? So understanding that, people who have, you know, a, a high frequency, they would be like, all right, well, how about we take the limo over here to the lounge place that we wanted to go to, and then afterwards, we can all just jump in the Honda and then we can go get some food. Because maybe then it won't take as long for either valet or you to go get the limo, pull it back around, try to fight through traffic in this really long vehicle that's almost the size of a tractor trailer. When the, a Honda would be much more convenient for maneuvering. Once you start understanding these things, you stop holding back on pressing the gas. You stop holding back. When I get with other people from different cultures and nationalities, I'm always trying to find strong points. You know, the opposite, the demonic team, they're looking for weak points. You know, they want to they wanna break you down. I'm looking for strong points to see where I can add on to and build up. If I happen to see a weak link, you know, I may I may address it just to put some emphasis on it. Be like, oh, you got a headlight out. You know what I mean? That's just to get your vehicle running back at a thousand percent. But it's not to be like, oh, you got headlight out and then I don't say anything, you know, and then let's say that messed up your electrical wiring. Or let's say you got pulled over for a headlight when that's something that I could have easily helped you or assisted you with. A lot of what is happening right now is just due to us not understanding, for one, the teams that we're operating on, and for two, they're trying to look past the physical. We are in the physical. I know a lot of people want to ignore it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I got a percentage of it. You know what I mean? I understand I'm the spiritual being. I won't always be here forever. I understand that this is like a gas station. This is a pit stop for me, and then I'm on to my next journey. But as far as for me being here right now, when I'm on the interstate and I'm in my car, I have to stay in my car until I figure out how to get off the interstate. I don't just park on the middle of the interstate and jump straight out the car. That's not how it happens. Unless people are hitting the abort button, which we do, but I don't really like speaking of people who exit the missions before the missions is complete. I'm not a fan of like diving into those spaces. I got enough people who are known enough people around me that has hit the eject button with no parachute, no hopes of trying to survive, you know. When you can put these things together, it makes collaborating with people a lot more simplistic, you know. And what I mean by that on a simplistic level, it's kind of like when male and female get together, they're two different vehicles. Don't even have to be colors. You know, you could be of the same nationality, same culture. But you still got two different vehicles. It's kind of like it's kind of like when you have a Honda truck versus a Honda coupe. You know, same, similar, but different in its own ways. You still have to understand that when you guys collab, when you're working together in those spaces, I'm going to make it even more simpler. 
When a brown male is with a white woman, Western has already set up the stereotypes out here. So each being should understand what each one of them, their cultures had to go through and which both of their cultures are currently going through. Then they should be bringing their attributes together to the table. So let's say, okay, this brown male has been held down his whole life. He's been fighting, 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 fighting. Here comes another nationality. They like, oh, snap. Okay, I'm in a Land Rover, which is overseas, and you're in a American car. You know, I, I know these few things right here. I can help you out in these areas right here. When I mean helping, sometimes it just has to do with one person hitting the gas and taking initiative because we know the stereotypes that's placed on us on our exteriors to help us continue to move forward. So if I'm going to find an apartment and I ain't got no credit, but my person with me is a Asian, Caucasian, Blasian, I, I don't care which nationality, just not of my complexion, my culture, right? They should already understand that if we're dealing with a male, females, the way this demonic system is set up, Men that's in those places usually tend to wiggle around more and give more discounts, benefits to females. They should already understand that when uh, a brown male is with the female, it makes them look less harmful, less violent. And these are things that really don't matter in the spiritual realm, right? But we're still operating in this physical realm right here. So why not be aware and be able to utilize these attributes? That's kind of like a man walking into a woman's life and she having a hard time open, opening some kind of jar or container. It's like, okay, I see the vehicle you're in. I'm in this vehicle. I got a few more attributes, a little bit more strength here. Let me get that jar, pop it. Got that right open for you. This is how simple it's supposed to be. But a lot of us tend to make things way more complicated than it has to be. One, because we got a lot of drivers on the road who got fifty, seventy thousand, a hundred thousand dollar vehicles and they are afraid to press the gas pedal. There's more accidents with people driving under the speed limit than it is driving over the speed limit. Most people who's driving over the speed limit are usually pretty good drivers and they're usually aware of what they're doing. I am not talking about the zombie bots who are out here drinking and driving and doing things under the influence. Y'all gotta understand, like, we got more knowledge and common sense over here. So we're always speaking from, you know, a more solid, productive, healthier standpoint. And then we'll dabble back in to the other ones that's over there. But when you got people not utilizing their vessels to its full potential, utilizing these cars to the full potential, it stops traffic up. It'll hold you up in the middle of being in a rush trying to get somewhere. You'll have weird people cutting you off just to go under the speed limit. It's like a lot of weird things start happening because they don't, they're, they're, the system has them warped into putting all their faith, belief, and trust into the system. For me and for us over here, we put our faith and belief and trust into the creator. So for me, even if I speed on the road, I'm not breaking any spiritual laws with the creator. My intentions is to get from point A to point B and I have a certain time span to get from point A to point B. That's simple. I'm on the road so much now that I don't take it personal when people tend to get offended if I right past them or if I, if I'm cutting somebody off, best believe I'm not gonna go under the speed limit. I'm speeding up to the point to where you're looking at my vehicle like, damn, I should have got out there away. You know, yes. That's how I am in the spiritual realm too. If you're not utilizing your vessel and I'm out here utilizing mine, that's what happens. We cause a separation. We cause a separation. People start to disperse and get away from us. They go far, far away. They lag, lag far, far behind. You ever been with somebody and y'all right here and then all of a sudden you're still going and then their computer program on the inside start lagging and they start glitching and tweaking and now they're taking 20, 30, 40, 50 steps back. You look back at them, you're like, you know what? You too far back for me to even come and get you. We started off damn near right here beside each other. I shouldn't have to go this far back to get you. You know what I mean? You're in a vehicle as well too and you should be utilizing it to its full attributes. 
A lot of people don't want to get on the road and press the gas because they got so much fear instilled in them. It's no different in the spiritual realm. So much fear instilled in there that you don't want to push through that space right there. You have to be willing to press the gas. I see some drivers on the road, they're so afraid to press the gas that they're pressing the steering wheel as if the steering wheel is going to make the gas in the car go faster. <laughs> I'm looking at them and they're sitting there like... Like, you can read it in their in their vibration. You can read it in their expressions. Like, you know, all you got to do is either push it to the floor or push it harder than what you're pushing it. It's no different than what we're doing out here fighting this battle and this war out here consistently. You know what I mean? I'm always looking at life and taking life and seeing how I could correlate it to the spiritual realm. Because all of this out here is a replication of our inner space. All of this out here is a replication of our inner space. It's like when people say, social media is the problem. No, it's not. It's the people using social media that's the problem. Because I would have never met a lot of you great beings out here if it wasn't for social media. That's like saying, oh, the gun is really bad. Like, the gun done saved a lot of people on self-defense and just protecting their house, the people that surround them. A lot of different things It's weird when people say gun is the problem Because you can look at old western movies Everybody carried one Outside of the sheriff And they wasn't just running around Blowing each other heads off You know We had much better morals and values That we stood by People was a lot more connected With sources values Most beings understood that, all right, well, if you're not moving this way, you only can move this way. But now you can move this way. You can move that way. You can hang out in the gray areas all day. You know what I mean? They got, they they create spaces in spaces inside the gray area spaces is how witchy things have gotten right now. Which is why everything is always so confusing, which is why you start to get frustrated once you leave the house which is why you get frustrated if you're in your inner space and you're trying to figure out how to hit the gas to go forward into your next steps that you have to do to continue to elevate and raise your vibration and frequency you can't be afraid to hit the you cannot i don't like saying can't you cannot be afraid of hitting the gas i say cannot instead of can't because technically when we say can't it's really just something that we don't want to do, but we can do it. So that's why I always replace it with cannot, because we always have choice, options, free will. So when I say I cannot, that means I can, but I'm just not. That's what that means. I say, and when I say can't, it's almost like enabling me. Like, you can't swim in this water, but I can swim in this water. I'm going to say I, I cannot swim right now. That's because I don't feel like it, you know? So just understanding like these analogies and these things that's actually transpiring, taking space, taking place. When you have people around you, process them. We should all be understanding psychology. When people tell me they went to school to study psychology, to me, I just think, ah, what could you learn from the system that you don't know from your own experiences? Because before you get to psychology, school, and college, you've already taken about 14, 15 years of school already. And you done already had four to five years of life just around beings already, which you should be understanding. But when you aren't taught that you're that voice in the inside, when you aren't taught how to manage your emotions and things on the inside, which a lot of us wasn't, we just had to learn through the process. It's very 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 small percentage of us that had people around that was willing to guide and help and assist us in those areas but for the most part we ain't had nobody saying hey don't touch that stove it's hot most of us had to go over there and "Ah, you know what Ah, i lost the skin on this hand i know better for next time i make sure i won't have my other people put their hand on the fire but then you got the demonic team over on the other side which would have burnt their hand but they won't tell you and then they'll dare you to touch it because Evil people want to cause harm to evil people. Even if the other people haven't done anything ill intended to them. But when we operate over here on this side of the light, we don't do that. That's not how we vibe, you know. We actually get punished for walking in that kind of light because we know better. 
But just being mindful of these things, you know what I mean? You got to be able and willing to press the gas. Don't get a $70,000, $150,000, $250,000 car and you afraid to use all the attributes on it. Only thing I disagree with on these new vehicles is the rear view cameras. I don't like backing up looking into the cameras. I just, I trust my eyesight more than I trust the camera, you know? And me trusting myself means that I, I trust the creator and the source. That's what I've been doing this whole time. So for me now, I got to put more trust in the technology. So now when people don't have the rear view cameras, now they don't even, they have a hard time looking behind them. You can see how awkward and uncomfortable people are when they have to actually look behind them now. It's a lot of things that take place, you know. We just have to be able to recognize it, to recognize it. Keep your foot on that gas. Everything that's going on and happening in life, use your vessel to your ability. You have to use all the attributes to it. For me, fortunately, my mom and my dad, they did a good job with their genetics. So when I was born into this realm during this day and age, my outside appearance meets the quota right around average and a little bit above average so i've i've always been able to utilize that to my advantage you know what i mean i've always been really good at learning I've always been really good at listening like it's a lot of things that i, I knew that I've always been really good at and I always honed in on those things to help get me to the space that i'm in and not saying that I'm perfect because I still need a lot of work. I got a lot of work to put in, you know. I got started late as far as doing certain things in this vibration that I'm in now, you know. If I had started when I was younger, I'd be to infinity and beyond. But when you start behind in a society where they already got a lot of slavery things already implemented, it makes it harder for you to get to that space to where you want to get to as soon as you would like to get there. So you just have to keep your foot on the gas. Sometimes when you're riding on vacations or trips and things of this nature, traffic will hold you up. Somebody got to use the bathroom in the car. Somebody may be hungry in the car, you know. You got, you may need to fill up on gas. It's a handful of things that take place that may cause you to have to stop, pull over, take a second, do a couple things first before you back on the road. But for us over here, you keep your foot on that gas. You keep your foot on that gas. If these other people is in your way, you got to weave right around them. You know, I use the cars, but spiritually we're weaving around all the witchy people that's came into our life that started to do some things. You know, we don't weaved around the people who we probably it's, it's weird, right? It's weird. Because even when we made mistakes that was our fault with certain people, we still didn't have ill intentions when we did it. May have been a little bit of selfish intentions, but it wasn't ill intentions. Two completely different things. You know what I mean? Two completely different things. We have to start figuring out ways that we are unifying and working together more. We already know the system is don't want it, is not going to allow it. I see a thousand videos popping up in my algorithms talking about, I have no friends. I have no friends. I have no friends. And I'm just like, what? The, the system figured out a way to push these people's narrative, which some people really don't have friends. But it's almost like you're getting extorted for the life that you live. You're getting extorted for the life that you live. So you really may not have no friends, but now the system is going to take that and push that to show and to help people disconnect even more. We don't need friends. If you say I ain't got no friends, say re replace that or add on to it with I do got some associates. You have to put some light at the end of it on top of it like a cherry or you can put it on the bottom like it's the base ingredient for it. But you got to put something more positive and more productive on top of that vibration. Because if not, then you're just feeding into what the system has already lined up for all of us. You know, we can say we got. 
we can all say we got our own reasons for not having no friends and peers and all of these things but at the end of the day we should be flipping the script and talking about how we're working to build something else or how we've joined another community but just constantly saying these things is working in the system's favor it, you have to look at it like the rappers and the celebrities who get extorted for their talents a lot of these artists take it back <laughs> Back in the day, my days would be 90s, early 2000s. In those times, you had a lot more organic artists. Every artist that was dropping, they all had their own unique sound. They all presented their message a certain way. In today's time, everybody sounds the same. Sounds the same. Some of the artists, like Trippy Red, Uzi Vert, all the little, little people, some of them, I cannot even tell the difference in who is rapping. They all make sure they got a good beat. They all sound about the same. They all slap the auto tune on the end of it, on the front of it, the beginning of it, middle of it, somewhere in between there, so it all sounds similar. You know what I mean? But there was a, a time where a lot of these beings were really talented. Whitney Houston, she could really sing. You know, Mariah Carey can really sing. These people got extorted for their talents. Yes, they signed agreements to be a demonic witch. But they also got extorted for that talent. It wasn't like they wasn't talented. It's people and artists today that's not talented that's still getting extorted because of their willingness to cooperate with the demonic playbook. But as far as these other beings, basketball players, you could look at some of the basketball, some of the basketball players and football players are really talented players. They utilize their vehicle. Most men that's in the NBA utilize that. Cause you don't see the average guy walking around six foot seven, six foot eight, six foot eleven, seven foot two. You don't see that. These beings utilize their vehicle. They like, oh shit, I gotta track the trailer. You know what? I'm about to go to driving school. I'm about to put my truck on the road with the rest of these tractor trailers. And then they got extorted for their talents. It's no different than when we put out certain messages and words and then we're getting extorted for it. So if everybody's running around saying they have no friends, but then they're not putting anything on the end of it, like, okay, I found me a new tribe that I've been working on or, or, or trying to build with or get into, or I'm building and creating a new tribe. It's, you have to put something on the end of it or else you're working with the system in that process, you know? When I speak on these things, y'all know I'm coming back with more work. One thing about me is that this whole thing that I am even up in front of this camera doing, it's just all based off of honesty in my life, my experience, the knowledge that I've obtained through life, and a, a lot of the information that I've consumed and was able to cipher and sift through and make correlations with this information this knowledge and wisdom and my experiences in life. It's a whole process out here. We could be diving in this thing deep, 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 you know. But I understand this on all levels and I'm always trying to feed it on different levels, you know. But I ain't want to run it up too long, gang. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.